Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the official ARC podcast, number 130. My name's Coach Brad, and I'm here with the core team. Your host tonight, as always, our amazing leader, Atlas. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Coach Brad. And folks, we also want to thank you for being here this Friday, another amazing day on board the ARC. Total vault accounts at 3,674, continuing to grow, always in the positive direction. Liquidity on PancakeSwap, 827,050 BUSD. ILC reserves holding steady. A bit of growth in the past uh, couple of days as well. 472,046 BUSD, which you're all here waiting for. Excited, Colin Sparky, come here. The Spark price pool is at 364.85 ARC. And my friends, that is a street value of $2,083.29. Boy, is that bullish. Tonight, we are going to find our 82nd Spark Prize winner. We're going to do it here live for you as we do every single evening here on the podcast. And folks, so far, 16,187.49 ARC has been deposited directly into each winner's account. And that is a street value of over 92,000. Actually, not over. It's exactly. Tonight it's going to be over. But right now it's at $92,430 with 57 cents. Ooh. I had someone write me today at DM and said, Oh, Atlas, those sparkly words are so big. It's got to be hurting the system. And I told him, no, little Jimmy, it is not hurting the system. These are tokens that in the grandmother's ROI dep, they would uh, pretty much always stay with the big whales as they structured themselves in what we call the guardian wallet, the protector of the realm. And instead of them going to those whales, ARC has a system that levels the playing field. I'm going to let Mr. Brett Noren talk a little bit about that because it is quite exciting. And it's just, excuse me, distributing that wealth to a lucky winner. Nothing changes except a lot of smiling faces, a lot of people going super, super fast. And why not, folks? Why not? It, it really makes a difference. And everyone who is eligible has the same opportunity, the same chances to win. In fact, some have won more than once or twice. We've had three time winners over here and you can't hate the players, folks. You just got to love the game that is here at ARC offering everyone a chance to get that spark reward and just go straight on through, break through to the nitro boost, my friends. With that, let's bring Mr. Brett Norton. Maybe you could touch a little bit on, on the magic that is spark the round robin here, as well as understanding the distribution is really making a massive difference. And it's not a matter of if, it's only a matter of when. Hope you're doing well tonight. Doing doing great. Thank you. Can you hear me okay? Perfect, sir. All righty. Yeah, I'm waiting for my when. Still haven't got my when yet. <laughs> but, uh, it is a sad state of affairs. You I sure do. <laughs> I show up. <laughs> yeah, I guess on on the point of uh, the the I guess the mechanics of the guardian wallet and then also the spark prize pool uh you know we took out a couple different exploits i'll just call them that for simplicity's sake that are in uh, some other protocols 
And uh, what you can do essentially is be able to skip back to your wallet faster to capture those compound rewards in those round robin systems. So we've eliminated those. And what we decided to do to make it decentralized and fair and distribute those rewards that uh, would otherwise go to people that understand how to manipulate the system, uh, we distributed them into this spark pool. And we took 50% and left it in the tax ball as part of the guardian wallet, which is just you know, extension of the tax ball. And then we're basically putting those virtual tokens back into somebody else's wallet in the tax ball. So there's no uh, tokens that get sent out in the wild, like other lotteries um, or raffle systems where people you know, are getting those in their wallet and they can sell them, which is always a bad idea. Uh, but instead we're putting them back in. And as you mentioned, creating a huge incentive for people to add liquidity to the foundation um, I think we have a huge participation level because of this opportunity with the Spark Pool and Spark Prize rewards. Um, you see this in almost every video that people talk about or the conversations that are happening on Telegram and Discord. A, a lot of them are around, hey, I just got my you know, 250 worth of bond in, in every wallet that I have so that I have a chance to win the Spark Prize. So I think this uh, incentive setup that we've created with the added utility to the foundation liquidity pool contract uh, it's been huge for us we see an explosive growth in the foundation uh, i think it's also a really big incentive to purchase a legacy nft especially if you're wanting to get the other utilities that come with the legacy nft I saw crypto phil uh, i think we're going to see him today actually uh, did a video yesterday and he was buying a, sil a silver NFT and he mentioned one of the reasons or the main reason why he bought it was to qualify for the spark pool uh, in addition to the referral level. So, yeah, I think this uh, this process and create a lot of excitement. It's created a lot of good behaviors. It's uh, definitely incentivized people to help support the protocol. And so I think the benefits large outweigh uh, any downside that, uh, you might see from this. So, yeah, I think overall it's win, win, win. Yes, sir. A win for you, for him, for her, the lady in the back, all the way. Yeah, she also gets a win. And speaking of winning, we have somebody here that won the spark. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look around here. Let me double check. Maybe Coach Brad, you can help me. I don't see that individual here. Uh, they were <laughs> here. So we're here. <laughs> yeah, I, were. I, were. I I scared him off with my excitement and my banter. It happens. <laughs> you got Atlas over there talking like he's going to give away a million dollars tonight. Sheesh. Woof, boy. Thank you, uh, thank you, Brett, for for that explanation and. Uh, it is, it is a very, very valid question. As we, we like to say here, there's no dumb question. And uh, for the average Joe or even the most expert of the experts in, in DeFi, um, the, the logic is, but wait, you're giving all this away. Like, how is this sustainable? La, la, la. And, and hey, we just love to say why it's sustainable because it is, it is it's so balanced. It's so fair. It's healthy, and uh, it gives us a reason to understand that you don't know if today's your day, but when it happens, oh boy, you know, and you're feeling it, and you're dancing, and you're shouting at the top of your 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 whole capacity. I love Ark. Let's get this crypto. <laughs> I haven't checked in a while. You may want to flash over to the foundation and see where we're at. Are we hitting 300K yet in there? Because I would say 80% oh, of that is... Oh, happy. Okay. I think <laughs> I don't we did. Look. My head's Let me get confused because... You know, you know we've been working. I looked the other day, and there's so many numbers here. No, no, no. We have it. Stand corrected. Something else is 300K. No, that's 430K. The, um, Get close. The external investment. Yeah, we're we're almost there. We're yeah, almost say 80 there, folks. Of that's built on the back of uh, Spark. Eighty percent of that foundation balance. 
amazing. Hey, it, it pays to play. I mean, the, the, the wonderful daily BSG, BUSD payouts and uh, the chance, the chance. So sometimes that's all we need, folks, the chance, the opportunity. And um, when it does happen, I mean, if you don't believe me, you can ask any of these folks that have won uh, what it's done. Uh, we've, we've had some testimonials here and uh, absolutely moving in the right direction and uh, very excited. Speaking about excited, Coach Brad, is it true what I heard that you had a special segment? But before we do that, folks, I don't know if you can see my screen. We're at 368.04 ARC. Street value, 2,101.51 cents. Sheesh, that's an all-time high. Oh, my gosh. Another one. <laughs> and it just gets better and better. Better and better. Never a dull moment while you're writing on the arc. Those contracts are just printing, 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 folks. Sheesh. So I, I, I heard that you did something very special today with a, with a very good man, with a very good person that uh, was here with us at the beginning and uh, he's been in his crypto journey for a while. So maybe, maybe tell us about it and let's go ahead and get into the all aboard. Yeah, of course. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we had a crypto feel passive income um, for a pre-recorded all aboard slash AMA, uh, but he didn't really need any questions answered. If I'm honest, he's read the white paper a bunch of times uh, we had Brett there with us as well, and we had a you know a short discussion. But he he's very educated. He he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's talking about. And um, we just discussed um, his charity that he runs. As as you said, he's a he's a great human being. He um, goes out of his way above and beyond uh, to try and help people that are in you know not the the greatest of situations and struggle financially. Um, you know across the globe in some of the poorest countries in the world, uh, completely, you know, out of his own pocket with no, um, um, you know, he, he, he just does it for the, for the good of doing it. He doesn't want anything in return, which is, you know, absolutely lovely to see. And, you know, it really resonates with the ARC team and what we're trying to do and myself personally as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had a short discussion about his, um, his charity and, and the dog charity that I run, and he, 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 we really hit it off. He's just a, a really, really lovely guy, and you know him and Brett had a, a nice chat as well. And then we watched his video. But with all these things, when you, you know, when you meet like-minded people and you're trying to stick to a time frame, like we often fail um, in the podcast because we just got so much good stuff to talk about, we ran over. Uh, we, we, we wanted to have it as like around 25 to 30 minutes, and it's nearly 40 minutes long so um, I don't know how we're going to go about presenting that because it's quite long for the segment I mean I could certainly cut off the discussion part um, when I'm talking but we obviously we'd want to hear what he has to say so I can I can jump through it a little bit and, and find the best bits and then show the video the video is only 12 minutes long right fantastic well, I think I think we've uh, we've verified that we're at an all time high. So, folks, sit back. It's going to happen tonight. Our eighty second winner is going to come up after the all aboard. And uh, yes, sir. Let's let's see what what this is all about. I had this loaded. Where's it gone? Oh, I know why it's disappeared because I've got it in here. Yeah, that's why. Okay, let's Hello, go. everyone, and welcome to the AMA All Aboard with Crypto Phil. We have a fantastic investor with us today who, as his own charity, is a YouTuber and is an all-around genuinely great person. He's here to talk to us about all of those things. 
So, Phil, if you would like to introduce yourself to the community and we'll take it from there. Welcome, sir. Uh, hey, Brett. Hi, um, hi, Brett. Brett. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Crypto Phil. Um, but thank you so much for having me here. Also, just to let you know, I have a baby next to me. So if you hear some noise, sorry about that in front. Uh, he's making some noise. So yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I'm, um, I'm, I love crypto. I'm talking about crypto a lot. However, um, what I find out, I'm a physiotherapist in my life and I'm helping always uh, different people, you know, just trying to fix them, walk, uh, you know, teach them how to walk, teach them how to get in from bed out and all this stuff after car accidents, broken bones, strokes, heart attacks and everything. And I find out one of the biggest passion and one of the biggest satisfaction for me and I guess everybody else is when you help somebody else. So almost seven maybe 34 weeks ago so this was around six uh, six months ago um uh, when i got into DeFi, i i started making a little bit money and i said you know what um this is not good because i need to share this money it's not just my money you know i just need to share so i i come up with idea of um back home we have something what's called the hands who is given never get dry what's mean in english uh, more you give more you receive and then uh, what I decide is, you know what, uh, I, I got connected with some people from Philippines. I was helping them and they help somebody else. And then I say, you know what, let me do this very often. You know, let me try to give more money. So I give this guy money. He bought some food, he give to somebody else. Then I say, why you don't record and we can make this thing to go viral. So pe more people can copy paste. So I find out that the, the biggest gift is yeah. when you give something and you never ask for return anything. So I say, you know what, fuck it. I would just, sorry about my language, by the way. Uh, I would just do this one um, every week, you know, no matter if anybody wants to donate something or not. And then I met a few people who want to donate and help and I create an account and then I get some donations, but most of the money is from myself. So at the moment I help over, I did over 34 videos uh, in video and offline I did over maybe 50 other donations uh, who of course I would never say anything about them. It's just uh, something what I personally do. And, and, and that's how it is. I have now some friends in the Philippines. Uh, uh, maybe I need more to look for there. I have somebody, somebody in Africa and also in India who is helping me. I'm sending them every week some money and they're doing a video. So every week I have a different video to go from different countries, and and that's how it is. So I'm planning now to go in. Uh, I'm planning to go in India uh, in September, and I'm helping there around 20, 30 kids in the who, who sleep. Sorry, my kid, who sleep on the street. So basically, we buy them food every week. Even I'm paying a teacher for them every single month. Uh, and and here I am. Uh, I, I love what I'm doing, and uh, I hope more people can can copy paste my project. In short way, I explain pretty much everything. So if you have any question, Brett or Brett or anybody else, let me know. Oh, that's great, Phil. Great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. go ahead, Brett. How does, this, uh, how does this integrate with what you're doing with uh, DeFi, if you don't mind sharing? No, no. So basically, what I'm doing in DeFi, I love DeFi. You know, I'm a DeFi guy, like all of us here. And uh, how you integrate is basically, uh, I start everything when I'm taking profits and putting small percentage, and I'm just helping other people. And that's and and that's how is I'm putting the into combination, simple as that. Because if you make something you must give something. People don't realize that, you know, people are greedy, you know, they just want to take, take, take. You must give something if you make something, even if you don't make something, go and help. Doesn't mean you need to have money, you know, I'm talking about everything in life. Like I'm a physio, I have so many patients who I never charge them anything, you know, just give them free sessions or whatever they need to do, you know, maybe do free labor, do free voluntary work. So that's why I'm going now in India, I will do probably four weeks voluntary work, you know. So that, that's how I combine crypto using for good stuff. Because in the world, you can see now everything go against crypto, but I'm trying to show the world that crypto is, is used also for good and positive things. That's excellent. 
yeah, I think that aligns with uh, a lot of us here uh, in ArcBi as well. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I think that's a very noble cause, Phil, and, you know, that's why we wanted to have you on and, you know, help promote that um, any way we can. And, um, you know, we we uh, making a donation to your charity as well. Um, and hopefully, you know, through this video, we can uh, present this to the community and hopefully get some community engagement with donations and, you know, just see what we can do our end to... To help you on the, the you know the noble journey that you're on really really great to hear great stuff basically what i'm looking if if anybody hear this and he's from living in africa india or any world any country who is very very poor uh if you want to help also let me know i'm more than happy to work with you because i need very people but who are honest because i've been scammed probably several times for people i will send them money you know like 50 quid to do some video for donation of course i'll tell them take like 10 15 quid for you you know and just use the rest of the money to help somebody and just record five minutes video and they'll just delete that uh, uh telegram the uh, names phones and everything for like 30 40 pounds uh this is so sad to be honest so i'm looking for anybody who want to help this will be amazing i have some people in africa and india but i'm always open for anybody if anybody want to donate something great if nobody want to donate that's still okay you know um uh, uh it, it's very sad because to be honest these donation videos people don't watch them a lot but everybody who watch them they love them so much you know it's crazy if they put like uh, the next 100 coin X, one X coin, that will have a thousand views. And if I put uh, using crypto to help the poor people in India, I will have a hundred views. That is very sad, to be honest. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, that can sort of be the way in uh, in crypto. There's a lot of opportunists, um, so you do have to be very careful. But um just to just to sort of let you know, I um I actually run a, a dog retreat in Thailand, which I fully fund. I, I went to Thailand some years ago and saw the terrible state that the dogs live in, and you know, trying to do my bit for for humanity and you know more for the animals because they don't you know they have no choice in the the conditions they live in. So it's really great to see other people doing you know this sort of thing and. Um, you know, I'd definitely be interested in in some form of uh, collaboration, and you know, even if it's just in the form of a donation. But absolutely great to see you, Phil. Um, really, really good to have you here and and on the arc and see all the, the great stuff you're doing. So, if you'd like to uh, pull up your video and we'll watch your video and then we'll uh, discuss it and go from there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me do that. Give me a second. Let me see. Let me know if it's working now. We can skip ahead here because that that lot that part was just uh, getting him on the video. Are, fine, yes, you heard that right. So, why I'm buying NFT? I'm going to explain you in this video what is the reason about that, and also I'm going to tell you my opinion for ArcPy and what is exactly ArcPy, how it's working, how we can make some money, and also how long this is going to last. Because if you ever know about drip, let me just move my face. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let me just move with that. Yep, there we go. So my face is small now. So if you ever know about Drip, if you heard about Drip, probably you know, uh, Furio, Piston Token. So basically, ARC5, okay, it's combination between all of them. However, what what is making me to buy the NFT, one of the reasons is this. Let me just share what I'm looking for, ARC5. There we go. So check this out, right? Check this out. Only 30 seconds. <clears throat> All right, pretty dope. All right, there we go. Don't be left behind. Our fight is coming with their own duck. All right. So it's coming with their own application, okay, for Apple and Google Play Store, uh, and, and for Play Store, sorry, for Android Play Store on the 31st of March, okay? So that's going to be something. If, if you could, if you could pause that, Coach Brad. Uh, thank you. 
I, I wrote to him after and let him know that uh, we're we're going to be launching a progressive web app. It, it works the same as a mobile application you would download uh, from the stores, but we're not going to be in the stores March 31st. It is a very, very long and lengthy process. Uh, and uh, we know, for, for, for example, Apple's having some some greed issues <laughs> when it comes to NFTs. Uh, that are on uh, platforms, so it's 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 murky waters, and we don't want to let that stop us. And we also see the benefit of having a progressive web app, meaning folks, for example, in China who are, you know, pretty much restricted from accessing crypto websites through a VPN, they can download our PWA and operate and invest in in Arc. So uh, that was one mistake he made there. And, and I also wanted to point out, this is, I believe, his second video. He was an early investor. Uh, he was, I believe, in the private and public pre-sales um, and uh, kind of got away a little bit from doing the videos. I remember talking to him like, hey, are you going to do another video about ARC? And he's like, man, I've <laughs> I've gotten through so many things that haven't gone well that, that right now, um, you know, I'm going through that period of, of just kind of staying away from things, uh, which we've seen YouTubers do before. You know, when things don't work out, it's it's just part of uh, being out there and, and investing and understanding that some people are not responsible with their investments and, and they don't. Um, you know, really invest in a manner that if they if it doesn't go well, it's not going to really affect them. So uh, a lot of these guys, uh, they have a lot of pressure from uh, viewers, uh, complainers, and and play the blame game. Uh, so it's good to see him back. Uh, it's a, another vote of confidence, I believe, for our community, for everyone here on the ARC, that he went through that phase and then he decided, hey, you know what, I've, I'm earning money, everything's going great, so professional, I can't stop hearing about the art from everybody. And seeing his own investment makes a big difference. And on his own, came back and said, Atlas, I need you to give me all the updates, I want all the information, I'm really busy, but uh, give me the content, give me the alpha, what can you say, what can you not say, because I'm ready to drop another one, I'm so happy with the project. and. And I told him, uh, yeah, well, this is what we could do. And, and I know you have a charity because he does a lot of these charity videos and, and everything looks very, very legit. He's, he's a great man. Um, and I have no reason to doubt uh, his integrity and what he's doing. Um, it, it's, it's, it's cataloged and evidence. So I said, uh, you know, make your video and, and then let's have you on. He has a, a small children, so he can't be here at this time. They're all in bed sleeping. So just wanted to clarify that. Thank you, Coach Brad. No problem at all, sir. What's this like a little dub? What's this ROI dub? How is working and all this stuff? And hopefully we can get more people getting in. Now, RFI basically is a project, okay? It's ROI dub. We buy the token, you invest BUSD, you need to buy the token, you investing, okay? You need to use somebody referral. If you want to use my referral, fine. If not, that's still okay. Don't use it. And then you're earning up to 2% a day. However, they have a great tokenomics, okay? Now the users, you can see has been growing up for the last couple of months. So every day the user is slowly growing up. Also, what I like about ARC is they have freaking over 125 live, uh, live everyday podcasts. Every single day, you can go there, you can chat with the developer, you can ask them all the questions you have. Let me just move my face up. You can ask all the questions you have in their Telegram group every day. Also, they have 24-7 support on the Telegram group. So if you have any question, how to deposit, what to do, how to buy, you can go there, get in, go, there's always somebody there, ask them, and then get out. I did that like five, six times so far, okay? So basically, so this is the first main page, okay? So this is the main page. You can go and read the white paper. I did a full video for this one about two months ago, okay? But also the one of the stuff, what I really like for ARC5 is this one. Very soon, they're going to launch some vintage and utility products. What will benefit the real people, the real world people? So they will benefit, we, all of us, we're going to benefit and they can produce real revenue so they can bring back to the system, okay? So that's what Atlas last night told to me, okay? And also you can see that here on the first page, okay? Innovative Vintage Group, okay? So what they're going to bring, I don't know, all right? Uh, he didn't say anything, of course, maybe it's too early. However, that's make me a little bit bullish. Again, everything, what I'm saying here is only my personal opinion, please. Remember that I'm not financial advisor. I'm not your mama and papa. This is disclaimer and 
do your own research. What's mean? Don't put more money you can afford to lose. This is crypto and everything is risky. Now, let's see how it's working there at DAP. Okay, so if you go here, launch DAP, all right? You're going to come right here, all right? Let me just move my face. And let me tell you why I'm going to buy today the NFT. There are three reasons, okay? Three reasons. Very interesting. Now, everybody who owns NFT, so if you go here to the legacy NFT, by the way, the price is keeping stable. If you go here, the price is keeping very, very stable. So that's very good at 572. So the launch was on the 19th of December. So today is almost, was it, 9th of March. So in 19th of March, it will be December. So January, February, March, three months. Okay, so three months, the price will be absolutely stable. Okay, so they using okay, the price stabilization very similar to like Furio. However, they, they, the system, how it's working is it's forcing you to compound and it's forcing you to take profit. So that's very unique. Okay. So I want to share to you this thing. Uh, let me see. There we go. No, the holders. No, there we go. Yes. So the liquidity, so the liquidity here is going up. So the liquidity, basically you can see, or this on bscscan.com. Uh, you can see it's going up in here. You can see arc phi right here. Okay, arc phi, the balance, the value, and all that stuff. But you will see the liquidity has been going up, and that's what I like to see. Now, how long is this going to last? Okay, so that, that's what everybody asking. Is this going to crash like Furio, like Piston, uh, 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 like Drip? You know, also a lot of people from Drip and Furio are coming here. Now, I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. But till it's lasting, happy days. If they are able to bring this up, it will be absolutely amazing. It will be different from everybody else. If they bring this utility, what they saying, I think this can be a long game to play. Again, only risk capital. Don't put more money you can afford to lose. Now, let's talk about a couple of more minutes before I buy the NFT. Okay, where is my minutes? Six minutes. All right, I have four more minutes. Now, when this is the NFT, Okay. And you can see you can buy three NFT. Why I want to buy NFT? First of all, I'm going to have refer rewards three levels. Okay, and that's good. This is going to help me. However, one of the reasons why I'm buying is this one here. So they have all-time high spark price. Every single day, they have spark price. Okay, So it's like a lottery. You need to buy one bond, what is around 250 bucks. So you need to spend around 280 bucks minus the tax or one legacy NFT to be eligible. So if I win, less, so it's every day it's 11 p.m. UTC time, they have the, the lucky wheel, okay? So last time somebody win uh, 300 and something R, okay? So that's around $1,700 in ARC, and I think they'll be depositing your vote, okay? Okay, now, just please. Now, I'm going to buy the silver one. Okay, so one the reason is because I'm getting more rewards. The second reason is because I want to play today in the in the lottery, basically. And the one of the main reason why I like this one, okay, once they are sold, okay, all of them, I don't know when. But I, I believe you can transfer, you can buy, you can sell this one. But uh, I, 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 oh, there we go. One stake, the NFT cannot be unstaked until your ARC vault account reach maximum 80,000. Okay, so once you reach 80,000 tokens, you can unstake and you can sell. However, the main reason is because they mentioned that uh, also from all this utility, what they're going to have in the real world, the people who have the NFT, they're going to have benefits. Probably, of course, the Platinum is going to have the most benefits, but that costs 10K. That's too much for me. This is 4,000. That's also too much for me, but I can afford for $1,000. Okay, now, if you go to the vault, you will see here how many tokens I have. First, I need to, oh, there we go. So every 24 hours, you need to compound or to claim. And you must understand that here, this is something new. You must uh, compound, windrow, or airdrop. I airdrop around 70 tokens, okay? That's around 300, so around 400 bucks last week. And I'm going to airdrop again in uh, one week time. So every two weeks or every three weeks, I will see, I'm going to, uh, 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 I'm going to airdrop to my team. So if you want to join my team, welcome. If not, that's still okay. Here you can see how much I deposit, how much money I have, 
uh, airdrop sent, right? 67.4 airdrops received zero. I received zero airdrop. And that's okay, guys. That's okay. You know, we cannot get angry. Now, also, I'm getting up to 2% per day. So this one here, CWR, also, when I get the NFT is going to increase to, you see this one, 1.5. One okay, uh, let me zoom. There we go, 1.5. Okay, uh, you can see here 1.5. So this is going to increase to 2.5, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And that's mean I can compound much more. Uh, so this one here, if you go to the red line, 0.75, if you just claim, 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 you're going to drop down to your earning will be 0.5%. So you don't want to go there. You want to keep at 2%. And how to go there is very simple, okay? It's very, very simple. So you go here, change allocation. So you will see now if I compound, you put how many percentage you want. Let's say I want to compound 67% or 100%. And you will see here, uh, I will be 1.6, so I'm not allowed. So this needs to be up to 1.5 because that's my CWP, all right? Trying to explain you a simple way. So if I try to, let's put Windrow, okay, uh, 32%, I will be 1.46, so I can do that with no issue. Now remember, okay, uh, remember, you don't want to go down to 0 0.75. Okay, let's stop talking. Let's buy the NFT. All right, so uh, you can see here, I'm at C. WR is 1.5, and I'm going to buy the NFT. Let me log in and approve legacy. So I need to approve. Use Ledger, guys. Whatever you do, use a Ledger. Link will be in the description if you want a Ledger. Make sure you have BNB for fees. Approve on your Ledger. It's very, very important. Wait for that uh, transaction to go through. I'm doing this live, so I hate doing things live, but sometimes you need to do it, okay? Uh, let me see. And purchase 1000 bucks. There we go. So purchase 64 cents fees. Do you like my fish tank, by the way? It's my favorite. Uh, I, I just did it like uh, uh, two weeks ago, or maybe 10 days ago. It's pretty cool. I got some new fish. There we go. Okay. So that's pretty good. So this is lock NFT and you can upgrade right here. If you want. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, let me see if, if this is go up or no, or what we're going to happen. NFT unlocked or lock. Oh, do I need to lock now, maybe? Oh, I need to lock then. One stake, the NFT cannot be unstaked until your arc vault account reaches my channel. Okay, I think I need to lock, correct? Yes, let me just see. And uh, all right, so what's happened is I went and I asked um, Ark on their Telegram, do I need to lock or no? They say, yes, go and lock it. So uh, I was gone till uh, probably you didn't see, but yeah. Okay, so I'm looking now, review transaction and lock. There we go. So let's see what's going to happen to my CWR, if this is going to go up, however, and I will let you know if I win some money tonight. If I win some art, this will be amazing, all right? I will use most of the money for the kids, but they will be locked probably right here. There we go. 2.5 CWR. I am, yes, happy. Woohoo! Happy days, guys. Happy days. What's mean now if we go to the ball, all right, I'll be able to compound much more, okay? So this, you see now, so this one is up to 2.5 here, and I'm now 1.47. So I'll be probably... If we go here, change allocation, and if I just compound 100%, you will see this go to 1.6. So probably I'm going to be able to compound for one week. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy. I am excited. So there we go. Let me just compound now. You can do this one once a day, by the way. I think you can do a couple of times a day, but the clock is reset every 24 hours. So you must do some action every 24 hours. Don't forget that. All right, guys. So link will be in the description. You just need to add my address as your team address, as your uh, uh, buddy or wherever it is there. All right. Thank you so much. The video is too long. I don't want to keep it too long. If you have any question, keep me, uh, let me know in the comment section or ask me in my Telegram group. And I'm going to try to do AMA with Atlas and see how is that going to go. And you can see here, this is grow up now. Okay. 1.56. However, Tomorrow, uh, you have 24 hours now. In the same time, I will compound, 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 compound. And then I, I will be forced to claim or make this amazing. Again, thank you so much. See you next time. And again, this crypto only risk capital. I'm not your mama. What's me? Not financial advisor. Goodbye.
You never watch one of my videos, fully. <laughs> bullish, Phil. Bullish. Great video, sir. Great video. Great to see Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you I can probably did a few mistakes, but uh, it's okay. Nobody's perfect. No, it was really good. No, no problem at all. Great to see you supporting the art platform, and we want to support you in turn any way we can. Uh, did you have a comment there, Brett? I saw you unmute your mic. Okay, no problem. Um, did you want to uh, ask any questions, uh, Cryptophil? Did, is there anything that you wanted to us to answer for you? Not really, to be honest. I think pretty much I understand everything. I had some question yesterday, but then I read more in the white paper and everything was explained. Perfect, perfect. Okay, yeah, the white paper is great. Uh, go ahead, One, Brett. Um, yeah, one comment, Crypto Phil. I think you mentioned that you were going to 100% compound uh, for a couple days. You may want to look at the uh, CWR percentages for reaching the 2.5. If you're trying to hit the CWR of 2.5, it'll probably take you about 14 days if you follow that allocation split. And I think it's 70-30, Brad, if, if you know the, the 2.5 CWR. Um, you'll want to do that yeah, every day. Good. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Thank you. Yeah, that's a, a great point, Brett. You don't want to be doing 100% compounds, um, Phil, because you, you'll hit the upper ceiling of the, the compound limit and it, it can really um, affect your, your CWR ratio. But um, it's uh, yeah, 71-29. If you follow that split, then your CWR will just average out to 2.5. And as long as you keep that split, it will stay at 2.5 um, until you change your, your allocation amount. And when you're doing uh, airdrops, airdrops count as withdrawals. So if you wanted to allocate to, to your airdrop, then for example, let's say you wanted to, let's say you were doing the, the 71 29 split and you wanted to allocate 10% of your rewards to your airdrops, that 10% would be counted as a withdrawal. So you would do the normal 71 on your compound, and you would do 19 on your withdrawal and 10% on your airdrop, and that would keep your CWR aligned at 71.29. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's a very nice explanation. Thank you, great. That's make more sense to me. Yes, CWR, I think one of the best thing you have, by the way. Uh, oh, uh, tell me, you says you're going to have outside revenue. Can you give us any more tips for that? Yeah, I think we, you know, we talked a little bit about the, uh, the first phase of the external revenue. Um, if you think along the lines of, uh, we're, we're going to develop end to end solutions for, uh, for DeFi, basically. So it's the on and off ramps, um, which we've talked about. And I think those are actually in our roadmap. Um, there's also some other products uh, aligned with security and things like that. And so we're really trying to become a way for people to bring fiat into our ecosystem and also DeFi in general, and then earn more or yield from that and then be able to spend that in the real world. So that's where the utilities are going to come in. I think that's what you make make you different from everybody else. What you you doing something outside in the real world? So that's amazing. Yeah, and and there's more to come from that. Um, but th that's really the first phase that we're trying to accomplish. Um, that'll all happen this year, and that'll all integrate with our PWA. We'll have some standalone products, but we'll all be accessible through the mobile web app. So that's what's exciting. I think about it is um, everything will be uh, at your fingertips there. That's perfect. That's perfect. And the app, is, the app is launching at the end of the month. Is that still going or will it be delayed? No, no delay. Yeah, we're very much on schedule. Uh, we like to uh, to over deliver <laughs> and uh, we should we should be able to share some more by the uh, um, I'm hoping by the weekend. Uh, Scripto King, he's our mobile web app developer and uh, he's putting some finishing touches on the legacy NFTs today. We got uh, we talked last night in the podcast about the platinum 
uh, NFT. And we had that redesigned last night. And today we got the new version of it, which we are excited about. It's a little more crisp and clear uh, just in terms of the, the logo and how it all looked on an MP4. And so we're going to implement that. And I think he's pretty much wrapped up the legacy NFT portion of that. The vault's finished, the foundation, uh, the home screen, um, all the stat bars, everything with the tap, the tap bar, everything's redesigned. And so I think we've got probably 90% or so finished now, but um, we're looking forward to another video from him to run down what he's finished since he completed the foundation a couple of weeks ago. He was on, he was on vacation. So we scheduled that in, you know, to have him gone. He was skiing <laughs> for a week or so. And uh, he's been back now for a week and is just knocking things out left and right. So we're very much on track for end of month launch. That's great. That's great. By the way, everybody needs some, uh, uh, some uh, holiday. So <laughs> yeah. 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 Everybody needs a little break and, and, you know, to do your best work sometimes you get in that better headspace. So yeah, we love the quality this team's generating and, we couldn't be happier with the designs, with the implementation, um, with the UI, UX. Um, I know uh, Alex has also been working on our landing page, which is our sales funnel. And we're getting our presentation now designed so that we'll have um, an automated way to send people through a sales funnel, basically. So if you're trying to introdu introduce somebody to the project, but just don't have you know, either the time or the uh, the experience yet to be able to describe all of the different components and then why someone would should, you know, make an investment into DeFi and, and get involved in what we're doing. They'll be able to go and participate in a Zoom meeting and watch the video or sorry, watch a presenter live and then ask questions as well. So we're putting that together. Um, shoot, I think the last time I looked at it, we had over 30 slides or so. Uh, so it, it's going to be a full comprehensive sort of DeFi boot camp along with, uh, you know, information explaining ArcFi and the opportunity to make an investment and then, you know, calls to action and, and get people onboarded and, and go through Brad's system for the white glove concierge service. So we're really trying to look to when we move into the mass market, we know that, um, you know, we're going to have a lot of inexperienced investors. Um, so they're going to have to come in and get educated prior to making an investment. And that's what we're trying to achieve with this, uh, this sales funnel concept. I think that's a big step, you know, when you have new people bringing into DeFi, I think that's what you're going to do. I think that's what you're trying to do is such an amazing big step for all our DeFi, to be honest, it will be uh, great and beneficial. Yes. Thank you. And that is that is pretty much it. The rest is just us, uh, you know, talking amongst ourselves and stuff. Um, it was really great to have him on. What is going on here? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it was really great to have Phil on. He's a he's a he's a lovely human being and looking to do good in the world um you know so you, it's, it's lovely to see and um we i have the if anybody's interested in making a donation to his charity i have the wallet address for uh, making those donations uh, we'll probably make a post with a banner or you could just uh message me directly and i can give you that wallet address so if you want to help him help other people uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's all for a good cause and Ark will be making a donation to his charity so um, that's great great of the, the team to do thank you for your time and if anyone's got any comments or questions feel free to ask or make comments I guess it's over to you, Atlas, for today's Spark Reward. Can you hear me okay? We can now, yep. All right, I was I was muted. Okay. I was answering uh, you. And yes, uh, look, we, we, we paused the video to, to understand a bit more about him and, and his journey. 
in crypto as well as his journey here in ARK. And what stands out to me is, is him getting on board right in the beginning and uh, seeing how everything played out and getting his ROI and, and seeing that the community is growing, that there's a lot of happy investors. He said several times, happy days, happy days. Uh, you can see the smile. You can see the enthusiasm. This is what we talk about, folks. This is it. People who have been wrecked in other investment opportunities, licking their wounds, going to a bit of a cave, and then realizing through what's happening here, what these contracts are doing, what these team is doing, what this community is doing to grow. And not being able to deny the facts of what's happening and saying, hey, this is going so well and there's so much more coming. I want to get out there. I want to do a video. I want to invest more. It was good to be on the arc and it's just going to get better. And um, I don't know if you're, if, if you folks understand what I'm, what I'm saying. Do you, do you follow coach Brad? Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, he's been here. He's got his ROI. Uh, you know, he's, he's seen everything with his own eyes and, and now he's Oh, sorry. And uh, now he's looking to help other people through that investment and, you know, wants to get other people involved. So great to see. You know, well, he's, he's, he's been doing that all along and, and that has really nothing to do with this. It's, it's really what I'm talking about. I'm trying to point out, let me be clear. He lost money in, in, in other investments. I mean, he's been doing the charity thing. I mean, we, we, we have a couple of guys here. Example Z, he's, he's got adopted children in Pakistan. There's, there's, Great folks doing great works out there. What what stands out to me, to be clear with you and everyone, is that he went through a phase of the debacles that happened in some other projects for this or that reason, primarily sustainability. Let's be let's be honest. Let's be clear. And just a way that that it was all put together. Hence, hindsight's twenty twenty. Hence, the art comes pulls up and says, "Hey guys, we have a better solution. We've got a great offer for you in the bear market." In the ROI DAP scene, the guy invested, he did a video, and then that's when a lot of the debacle started to, to come undone. A lot of people lost faith. A lot of people went in caves. And as I said, he 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 was like, I said, are you going to continue the video? He's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm done with this. I, I've had so many people get wrecked and kind of like I don't want to touch it. And then through a short amount of time and seeing what's happened here, the man is motivated again that's that's a beautiful thing to see it, it goes into understanding the game theory of folks getting a fast ROI for a change getting a win in the bear for a change doing it in a fair manner where you pay yourself every day for a chain change and not being shamed for taking profits and doing the right thing for you and your family not having a toxic community where if you're selling and being a smart investor, because you're only a winner if you're in the green, my friend, that's just a fact. People will come, people will gravitate, people will want to join. This is, this is the project, folks, that people deserve in this space. That's our intention, that's why we're here, and it's beautiful to see it happen. This is greatly, greatly inspirational and satisfying it's like they're coming back home and they're saying, hey, you know what? <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. We've seen Terrence, you know, drop 9,000 just the other day. Uh, Crypto Black Sheep, 4,000 or 3,500 just yesterday before the starting of the podcast. We're seeing the confidence build. We're seeing folks understand that it's having not just the results we intended, but even better. The spark rewards keep growing. You can't deny when you see the spark reward. So um, I, I'm, I'm very, very, very thrilled and honored. He's back on the horse and he's back here on the arc and he's investing more. And, uh, you know, as as a community, um, you know, I respect the work that he's doing with his charity. He said, hey, by the way, let's let's make a, a small donation there. And um, it, when you post that information, also, if you could do me a favor, Coach Brad, put some of those videos or, or, or find one video that that, that you connect with. 
of the charity stuff so that people can actually take a look and see what he's doing, how he's managing that. And if they want to do something, get involved. If they don't, you don't have to. It's, it's, it's really up to everyone, and we're not pushing that. We're pushing the fact of his journey in crypto and really here on the ARC. Let's get this crypto. Any questions, comments, folks? Love to hear from you. I do have a question. Go ahead, sir. I, oh, okay. My first time using Telegram chat. So um, just because you guys were just talking about it, I do think the marketing funnel thing is huge. I'm really excited and happy to hear you guys that are developing that. Was there a firm date or like a time horizon where they're planning on having something like that? Because my challenge would be creating content. Like I feel like I could, I have some decent reach, but if they have a way of like, bringing people to a, a, lo a place where they could learn more. And then from there having like, he said, call to actions and stuff. Did, did you guys know like when that might be released or? Uh, yeah, we're, we're attempting to have that all together for the PWA launch by the end of the month. Oh, wow. Okay. My, the other question I had was about the app when it launches the mo I guess the, uh, what were you guys calling it? The mo not the mobile yeah, app, the, the web. Yeah. The mobile web app. Yeah, that's the sure. end of the month, March 31st. Is, is that going to be launched with the Fiat on-ramp or is it going to be like a minimal viable product sort of with enhancements and updates to come later? And if so, like what money licenses are you guys working on or slash have already? And that's my only question. Thank you. Yeah, so we haven't uh, nailed down exactly when the on-ramps, we're sort of detaching that from the mobile web app launch. We'd like to get that out. Uh, but obviously, we're moving very quickly to have the on-ramp in place. Um, we already have the uh, back end, I would say, uh, available. So it's a matter of implementation. But with the PWA, the landing page, and the other uh, things that we're doing to redesign the DAP, those are all uh, using similar resources. So if the uh, if the, the on-ramp interferes with the launch date of the PWA, we're gonna you know we're gonna implement that later. But it will be in March or sorry in uh, April if it was not already available for the PWA. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? Well, I guess it's sparky time, Coach Brad. I was just about to say the same thing, Atlas. Hey, <laughs> hey, can I have a minute? Oh, go ahead, Betty. Can. I can never ask, Betty. Welcome aboard. Hi. Yeah, it was really surprising to see that yesterday. I've been under the weather. I had some surgery last week, and by about 5 o'clock every night this week, I'm I'm done. I have to take my pain meds and go to bed kind of stuff so i totally missed last night but it was a beautiful surprise in the morning what do you mean uh, could you please uh explain oh sorry i was i had surgery last week and so the pain meds and all the pain from just trying to walk again and do things i'm by five o'clock i'm asleep because i'm just so tired and exhausted and sore so i missed so last I'm, night totally what, um, what Brett, uh, Atlas was asking, Betty, is uh, do you want to tell the community what it is that you missed and what that great surprise you woke up to today was? Well, I was just feeling really out of out of sorts because I haven't won the Sparks Prize at all yet, you know, kind of stuff. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and, and everybody else is winning. Brad won twice and I haven't even won once. You know, it's not that I need, a lo need it, but, you know, it just it feels good to win something once in a while, you know. Even if it's only uh, a couple bucks, especially when the Sparks Prize, you know, a couple bucks to begin with at the start. But now it's really getting up there. And it was just really wonderful to add that to my wallet. And, and now I know how much I'm going to get every day. And it's just like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Yes, we, we didn't tell the community of, about that as we respect privacy. Uh, for every investor, and, and we don't want to announce 
uh, winners uh, unless they're they're okay with it or they want to do it personally. So um, thank you for saying it. <laughs> I wanted to be sure that uh, you you had uh, your your chance to 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 do the big reveal and uh, you've been here from the beginning. Um, you've you've been a great part of our community. Your mother's invested here. You opened up a wallet for her and and uh, you absolutely deserve it. And I, and I hope you you enjoy it. It's, it is a it, it is it is a big difference. Oh yeah, and I'm already <laughs> ROI, so that's really good. So I'm I'm more than happy, and looking forward to being able to uh, move more stuff over to the bonding and move more stuff over to, you know, another another um, NFT would be nice as well too. I'll have to work towards that. Let's go. <laughs> hey, maybe maybe uh, your mother wins on her wallet, or you can get second away. Could you? Yeah, that would be that would be fantastic. So uh, I, I understood through through the back channels here of, of the staff and that you were the winner and it definitely put a smile on my face. We we always um, we are always happy when it's somebody that we know that's that's involved here because we've we've, we've spent time with you, Betty, and uh, we we've got to care about you and uh, I think everybody in this community as well. So we'd love to see everybody win. Sometimes they're mystery people; we don't know who they are. So uh, we just know that it's doing something really special for their investment. So it's great to know and have that validation when, when it's somebody right from here. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. And I really want to pump the fact that, you know, you can be over 50 and a woman and still be in crypto and do well. Okay. Because we just don't push enough of that, that this can work for all age groups. Well said. Well said. And uh, you can get some some uh, heat too from the uh, crypto mining operation, which that's just that's so cool. I got I gotta <laughs> I gotta give it to you, Betty. That's that's amazing. Oh yeah, and lots of lots of Canadians and Winnipeggers, particularly like Manitobans, use it because uh, a lot of places we can't get propane, we can't get natural gas, so uh, you know we have to use electricity. So might as well make some money at the same time we're heating our homes, right? Speaking of crypto mining, I don't know if, if you've been uh, up to the latest news in crypto and regulations and government, uh, but I, uh, I, I didn't read a, a whole article, but I saw a snippet of a proposal um, coming into uh, some sort of a, a bill or plan as they like to, to you know, put out into the, the floor. And they're talking about taxing crypto miners 30% in America which is pretty extreme. <laughs> Misinformation, misunderstanding, and not understanding how crypto miners balance the ecosystem as far as electricity goes. Because you can turn crypto miners off, like a large mining system. It only takes 30 minutes or less to turn a, a whole system off. So if you stop your mining from, five, say, 5 in the evening till 9 o'clock at night, you have all the rest of the day that the crypto miners could be working and using up electricity and keeping the system balanced. And nobody talks about that enough. There is true ways of keeping it balanced, but also having a crypto miner in a small rural area allows them to bring in more electricity into the area so smaller companies can build their businesses when they're not large enough to promote getting electricity in because it's just too expensive to bring in all of the added power loads but if you have a crypto miner in the area it allows more electricity to come in the area so more businesses can have more power absolutely they need to go to school <laughs> they need to learn they need to get educated and that's that's exactly i think a very very and reasonable answer like manitoba manitoba is like a hundred percent hydro generated power so we're totally green energy here Everything that we have here is used, we use hydroelectricity. Now that's, that's something special. Yeah, I, I spent uh, uh, probably over 16 years in the renewable energy sector, uh, creating megawatt projects uh, for uh, over in China and also in the United States. So a uh, huge passion for moving in that direction and understanding that it's not the only solution. It's just about balancing things out. And I could talk about it for hours and hours, but we are trying to keep the podcast. I don't know if, you, if you've heard the latest news. We, we've heard the community, especially the folks that can't be here 
uh, the Europeans, it's, it's, you know, 1230 AM right now for them and listening to a three, four hour podcast, as much as we like to be here and, and sharing and learning and talking about ARC and answering questions, which is so important, especially those new investors. Uh, we understand that folks want to have the, the alpha, right? They want to have a, a, a programmed, uh, format. So we're going to be going to YouTube and, and putting the streams on there, seeing if we do it live, dividing it into sections, just really upgrading the way we communicate so that if somebody does want to listen, it's an hour and they don't have to sit there and swift, you know, sh you know, swipe through the areas. Um, so we're, we're trying to, to better the way we do it, condense it all into one hour, uh, understanding that, that we're talkers. We like to, you know, go into, into things and we, and we like to communicate with, with our community. So, um, yeah, it's a part of it. So generally we do like a, like a Q and A, we hang out after the one hour podcast. So, uh, I hope that, that, uh, you'll be able to enjoy that too. It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> we yeah. also have a newsletter by the way on medium that comes out every week and the crypto badgers are great friends from Australia, max power and Bizy dips. Uh, they do a whole review of what was said, what was talked about here in the podcast. Uh, in their video, as well as showing their, their crypto journey, which they just, these guys are superstars. I love the way that, that they create their content. So we're, we're improving our communications is important as, as we understand that we need a bigger boat. There's, there's a whole new audience that's coming here and these are regular folks. Uh, we, we need to be able to, to give them the information in, in, in writing in, in audio in video where they can, you know, dissect it and, and get what they need in an easy format. Oh yeah, that's how I, I learned about DeFi the first time I got into that. I knew about crypto coins, but not DeFi. And that was through Medium, getting the articles off of Medium and being able to read them over and over again. Yeah. That's how you met Coach Brad, if I if I recall correctly. Yep. Fantastic. Through <laughs> yep, through Medium. Let's go. All right, Betty. Um, I hope you 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 start to feel better and recover from the surgery, and and uh, please do give our, our warm regards to to your mother. Thank you very She's much. She's awesome, and I, and I hope the the horses will be going up there soon when the when it cools down. I'm sorry. When, yeah, when it gets warmer. <laughs> yeah, warmer. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Looking forward to that. Maybe you can set, share some pictures uh, in the future when they're when they're with you guys over there. Yep. Thank you. All right, folks, it is that time, our favorite time of the entire podcast, when we get to pick the lucky winner. Uh, it's an all-time high. Let's get funky. Let's get pumped up. And uh, let's, let's unleash the beast that is the spark. Does anybody want to call for, for it before we begin? Does anybody want to tell Sparky to, to land in their wallet tonight? Here, Sparky. I, I I added a couple wallets. For me not to fall in love with you, baby. Yeah. Oh, who's got you, baby, tonight, baby? Ooh. Be tonight. Who's got you, baby, tonight? Yeah. Let's do it, baby. Girl, I gotta do the fight on that job. Tell me that you want me. Tell me that you need me. Tell me that you love me tonight. Tell me that you want me. Tell me that you love me tonight. Tell me that you want me. 
folks tonight's all-time high spark prize winner their wallet ends in a three a c and there's a lucky winner of 300.32 arc that is a street value of over 2200 dollars folks congratulations to the lucky winner <laughs> Just when you think it's a lot, it gets it gets even even more beautiful, folks. Beautiful. First first time winner at this. That is a first time winner. We love first time winners. We love repeat winners. We love all of them. But if you are a first time winner, we've got a, a special little jingle we we like to play for you. Watch your ears. <laughs> Nitro Boost. Woof. Going super, super fast. That's a good thing in ARC. <laughs> All right, tonight we don't have DeFi sessions. And uh, I think I think we, we've been a bit, a bit long, right, Coach Brad, with our all aboard session for this evening? Uh, we did. We we're at an hour and 12 minutes because we started a little bit late. But um, if we, if you want to do your outro and then we'll do some q and I think that's a, that's a good time for the podcast, hour and 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and conclude tonight's podcast, at least the recording part. Like you said, we'll, we'll stick around. We'll do some Q&A. We want to thank every single one of you for being here this evening live on the podcast, and also for the folks that are participating through listening. We hope that you found tonight's podcast educational as well as entertaining. We uh, want to congratulate uh, Betty on her great win last night. Massive, <laughs> massive win for, for her. Um, it is great to see uh, someone from our community that spent time here with us on the podcast, and we've gotten to know about her, her life, her crypto journey, uh, you know, share the excitement of a fantastic win. And we've seen so many other folks here uh, from our community that are very involved get those fantastic wins. And the folks that are not here, you know, they're, they're not participating. Uh, we haven't met them yet. We're talking here 3,677 uh, investors. We Rejoice also in, in their win because we understand what this is doing for those investors, whether they're a small minnow or a whale here at ARC. It's a big win. Thank you to Mr. Crypto Phil for uh, coming back to do a, another video about the ARC and share his journey and, and invest into a silver NFT, understanding the value, the utility that's coming, the mobile application that's going to be dropping March 31st. And uh, we also want to let all of you know that there's still an opportunity. If you want to come to the poker game tomorrow at the Pillars at 7 p.m. EST, 2 p.m. I'm sorry, 7 p.m. UTC, 2 p.m. EST, you still have a chance to purchase them and have the opportunity to be selected by them as the random player, the mystery player for each project. They're going to do that tomorrow morning. 
So if you like poker and you want to sit down or maybe you just want to come and watch and see us do what we do best, which is not play poker, but talk about ARC and let folks know what's so special here, why the smart money is here, and how someone tonight just won $2,200 worth of ARC. It's a huge, massive boost into their investment. I can assure you that their projects don't do that. They don't have that. And it is our responsibility to let those folks know diversifying is good. And when you do it in ARC, you join the smart money. Let's get this crypto. Folks, we'll be back tomorrow after the Pillars Poker game. And we will be here at 6 p.m. EST, 11 p.m. UTC, our usual time. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.